Welcome back. Today's video is going to be my February favorites video. I'm very, very excited for this because I do have actually two fashion items to show you, but the rest is makeup. There isn't a ton of makeup just because I was so dedicated to Project Pan items this month. Really, I was. I was so focused. I wore the same lipstick every day, but I did finally finish it. So yeah, there isn't a lot here. It's mostly makeup and two fashion items, but I wanted to share it anyway. And I have recently started posting a little bit of fashion content. So if you're interested, check out my fashion and style playlist. There should be at least a couple videos there by now. I am definitely working on more. I am very excited and I'm just, I'm having fun with it. And it's fun to do something a little bit different. And I do think that beauty and fashion are related anyway. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. Last month I did do my favorites video, like a get ready with me style, but a lot of the same products I've been using are the exact same as I was using last month. So I'm not gonna do that this time, but I may do that again in the future. So let me know if you enjoyed that and let's get started. All right, let's get the fashion stuff out of the way really quickly and the rest will be makeup. This shirt is the most amazing find ever. Um, I've been thrifting a lot because I've mentioned in several videos, I'm really trying to revamp my style, revamp my wardrobe. My taste has changed. I haven't updated my wardrobe in several years, sadly. So it needed a refresh and this shirt is amazing. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. I'll show you what it looks like on. This is from Old Navy and I got it at a thrift store for $5. It's like a fake velvet shirt, but this color, oh my gosh, like yellowy mustard. I love yellow as you will see shortly. It's one of my favorite colors. And I was just like randomly wearing this at the grocery store and someone complimented me on it. I just, I love this. This is incredibly comfortable, which is definitely my style, but I feel like I could just wear this with jeans or black pants. Only $5. This is amazing. Again, thrifting in general has been my favorite. I have found some great things there. I'll just mention my jewelry actually, because I've been wearing like the, all the same jewelry over and over again. I love these necklaces. I did buy these at Target about a month ago, maybe a little over that, they are chain link necklaces, which obviously is a huge trend right now, but I don't follow trends unless I like them, but I do think that this necklace style is really nice. So this was a set of three. I'm only wearing two of them today. I like Target jewelry actually quite a bit, and I've been wearing these hoops nonstop. These are from Henry Bendel, which that company went out of business, which is kind of sad, but these are gold plated. Um, so these are a little bit more expensive, but again, the company is not even around anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, this ring is from the Sugar Fix line at Target, which is like a less expensive version of Bobble Bar. It's, I think, the same company, but they sell this at Target, but it's really similar to Bobble Bar again. It's the same company. This ring I got from Nordstrom Rack like six years ago, but it's just a fashion ring, but it's actually still in pretty good condition. So I don't know, I've been wearing a lot of the same jewelry. I love wearing gold jewelry. Yeah, just having a lot of fun. Now, let me show you this handbag favorite. I've already posted this on Instagram, but I'm in love with this bag. This is the Senrev Aria belt bag. I'll link it in the description box if you're interested. I was hesitant to purchase this because it's something a lot of bloggers talk about who got it for free. So I was a little bit on the fence, but I fell in love with it and I actually ordered two. Let me give you a little bit of info just in case you're interested. I bought this one. This is their Mimosa leather and this is the color Lemon. They also have a pebbled leather and I bought another one in a cream color and pebbled leather. And the closure, so this is how the closure works on this. This little thing goes through here and then there's a magnetic closure there and then you just, whoa, okay. Opens like this. The only thing in here right now is my cell phone charger because I switched over to another bag for a few days. Um, but it is a smaller bag, but you can fit a decent amount. I like smaller bags, which is why I've also been revamping my handbag collection because I had so many tote bags and I just don't like large bags anymore. I don't find them comfortable. So I'm planning an updated handbag collection video. I did one two years ago, but anyway, side note, this bag, it is Italian leather. This brand does make really high quality stuff and 
It's supposed to be like a somewhat more affordable luxury brand. I think it was started by two women. I actually love this. So it also does come with a strap that is in the same color that you can wear here as a belt bag, or there's this here that you can put it on there. I did buy this additional strap that they sell for $95, which is kind of expensive. I probably should have just bought a chain strap on Amazon for like 10 bucks. They're there, that's probably what I would recommend to people, but I can switch this and put this on other bags if I want to, which is nice. I prefer a chain look over a leather strap. I just think it dresses it up a little bit, makes it more versatile. This is beautiful and I've carried this almost every day for like three weeks and it's a really fun pop of color. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I love, love the nice leather, really high quality. Let me just quick mention though why I sold the other one that I bought. This, what they call their mimosa leather, it's a bit softer and a bit more flexible. The one that was in pebbled leather, on the closure, the leather was so stiff that trying to get it closed was such a pain. I was like standing at the checkout register trying to close it and it was very, very difficult to do that. And I actually carried it for several weeks because I thought that maybe the leather would loosen up a little bit and it didn't. And I need my bags to be functional. And if you can't get in and out of a purse very quickly, I mean, you need to get your car keys out. You may need to get your cell phone, put your wallet back in. You know, I love handbags for the style, but I need them to be practical. And getting in and out of it was so difficult that I ended up selling it. Which, I mean, the nice thing about nice quality handbags is that you can sell them for a decent price. I actually sold another handbag this last month. But anyway, this leather, I would actually consider purchasing another bag in this color, but only in the mimosa leather. I wouldn't purchase one in the pebbled. Just from my experience, you know, that's just me, but I need a bag to be very efficient, even though, you know, obviously I care about the style and the quality and all that. It needs to work well for me on, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, love this bag. That was a lot about the bag, but I just wanted to throw in a little mini review because I do see this bag talked a lot about on social media and I had not heard a single person mention about like the difficulty getting in and out of it. Um, I do think that a lot of the videos I saw were more first impressions. So it's kind of like the makeup in the fashion world, especially when it comes to a handbag. I do think you need to carry it for a while and actually see how functional it is. So anyway, side note. Let's talk about the makeup. Here's something that I used all month. This is in my Project 100 uses. I'm getting close to using this 100 times, but I have not yet. This is the Becca Chloe palette, and sadly we found out Becca Cosmetics is shutting down, which is really sad actually. I think it is a nice brand. And this face palette I bought a couple of years ago on major, major clearance for like 20 bucks at Ulta. And it's one of the best face palettes I have. My blush, the blushes in here are definitely my favorite and I use them the most. I also like the highlighter, the bronzer works well for me. I've mentioned before, I do not wanna buy face palettes unless all the colors I like and work for me. And this palette definitely fits the bill because I like all the colors in here. And this is a really nice finely milled formula. I've used it so much, but these baked dome products, I mean, it takes a lot of usage to see the difference, but so this is a really nice finely milled formula. There's a bit of sheen in the blushes, but they're just so flattering. I love it. I think this is one of the best products Becca has ever released. Again, it's really sad that they are shutting down, but yeah, it's a bummer. So yeah, I love that one. I'm gonna continue to use it. And yeah, hopefully that will be in a Project 100 Uses update. Alrighty, and then we have this blush. This was in my makeup capsule for February. This is the e.l.f. blush in Always Cheeky. Hadn't used this in a while, and this is one of my favorite blushes in my whole collection. I mean, it's just a peach blush. It's really not that unique, but the formula is so nice on these. I mean, if you don't have a lot of blushes and you don't wanna spend a lot of money on a good blush, this e.l.f. formula, this is their primer infused blush. They also have primer infused bronzers. I have one of the bronzers too. Just as good of a formula, only $6 and it's very blendable. The drugstore I think is lacking a little bit in blush still to this day. Some of the blushes are, they're not that great or they're a little bit choppy, but I do think that the e.l.f. blushes and the essence blushes are amazing so yes i do love that one lip product wise i was just working on what i was trying to pan 
And I did finish some lip products if you saw my empties video. Um, I love this gloss though, and I've mentioned it a million times, but I've been wearing it a lot and I'm wearing it today. This is Pat McGrath Bronze Divinity. This isn't a project and I still have a ways to go on this. This is my only full size Pat McGrath gloss, but again, this formula is fantastic and I talk about it all the time, but I am trying so hard to pan my lip products and i've definitely i'm making some progress which is really kind of exciting to see that and i just want to get my lip products down i don't want to buy any for a while but pat mcgrath glosses once i finish more lip products i would definitely love to purchase more colors foundation wise i mentioned this last month i'm mentioning it again because i've worn it a lot estee lauder double wear not super exciting but it is the best foundation I've ever tried. It just lasts all day and the color matches me really well. This is 1W1 Bone. It just looks nice. And this is a foundation that I definitely get compliments on my skin when I wear this. People will say, oh, you have really nice skin. And I'm like, I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, FYI, but thank you for the nice compliment. Um, it was just kind of crazy that people would compliment your skin when you're wearing a full coverage foundation because they can look very heavy. And I know a lot of people do say that this foundation looks heavy on them. You know, everybody's skin is different. I don't apply a lot though. That's the thing. It's full coverage. So I am not like caking my whole face up in this. I don't put on a lot. And anyway, I've worn this on my wedding and a lot of other special occasions and yeah, it's still my favorite. And then... Again, something I talked about a lot. I talked about this in last month favorites, in my yearly favorites for 2020, but I still love it. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is such an amazing product. I do think it is unique. I use it either as a liquid highlighter or I mix it in with foundation or I use it under foundation. It just gives such a nice glow, but there isn't a bit of shimmer or anything. Um, I know I've talked about this so much, but I still love it and I have shade one which it's just like a light creamy color. They do have, I think, seven shades. Um, it's a pretty sheer product though. It's subtle, but I do see a huge difference with this. I'm actually not wearing this today, but a lot of days I have been wearing this. Last but certainly not least, this eyeshadow palette. It's amazing. It's been my favorite palette of the month. And if you've been watching my videos in the last month, I wore this in almost every video I uploaded. Not every single one, but most of them. And it is the Magic Mini by Juvius. I've talked about it a lot. It's definitely becoming one of my favorite palettes of all time. Definitely my favorite by Juvius Place. Um, the shimmers are really what stands out about this palette. The, the metallics are so beautiful. The matte shades, I mean, quality wise, they're fine. I've talked about this before. I just don't really get why they chose these mattes. I would have chosen like a matte pink or maybe, I don't know, something a bit more purple. And these two navy colors, when I put them on my eye, they look the same. So, you know, the selection there is a little strange, but these metallics, they are amazing. I did a look where I was wearing this color in a video. I was wearing this color in a video. Um, I don't know, probably some of the other ones too. I did looks when I was not filming. Uh, I think this is a beautiful palette. Some of the best metallic shadows ever. I love, love the shades in here. Quality is great. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the best by Juvius. That is it for this favorites video. I'm really, really just enjoying my collection, playing around with different things. If you're interested, check out some of my other videos. I do upload usually four videos a week. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.